Jeff. Jeff. Lordy. Man, Danny wasn't kidding about uh, you having scales. <laughs> I have a few. Just a yes, few. Yes, you I'd do. Say. What's going on? I'm Hi Mike. There. It's my brother Robbie. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Here's a flyer. She awesome probably talked stuff. about this, but uh, see right there. Yep. Scales. Scales. Yep. You start with one, and <laughs> yeah. then one leads to another, and to another, and to another. What I collect are coin-operated scales, the kind you stand on, and weigh yourself for a penny. They were real popular in the early 1900s. They were in train stations, bus depots, drug stores, on the sidewalk, near the markets, everywhere. That's the first scale I bought. That's it right there. Yep. Is that original face? No, I had to reproduce that face. Oh, so you bought it and then you restored it. Correct. I've always loved and appreciated the guy that collects just one thing. Okay, because if anybody's ever looking for a part for a scale or they want information on a scale or they want a scale restored, this is the guy behind the scenes that you contact. I'm sorry, I'm looking around, man. I'm just, I'm just kind of yeah. like, I've never, yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen most of these scales, but I've never seen so many in one in space. One, that's, yeah. yeah. It was a big, big business back then at a penny away. There's big companies that made them. There's small companies that made them. Different gimmicks, whether it be astrology, be uh, guess your weight. So, Jeff, I wanted to ask you about this astrology scale. All right. Looks like it's large and in charge here, and it's got original paint. Yep, it's the same as the one up in the up at the house restored. One thing I've always been intrigued with is space. You know, and astrology, that's space. The stars, everything about it. It's got the crackle paint on it. If you just light it up, it just looks cool sitting in the corner. So what, what year is this from? I'd say 40s. They were trying to come up with all different ways to get people to put their penny in. Right. And they would not only get their weight, but they would get a ticket with a fortune or a horoscope on it. This doesn't work, I take it. I you haven't... don't know. It okay. might. I've never plugged it in. Is this one on the list for sale? I'd sell that one. I've done one for myself, so I know what it looks like all done. As you know, it's not, it's easier to take one apart and put it back together when you've got one to one to one to look at. One to look yeah. at. Yeah. And now that you've already done it, that's it. Yeah. What so kind I of, would sell that one. What kind of money? I'd let it go for a thousand. I got a question. Sure. I didn't see any of the cards inside here. Mm-hmm. Your machine that you restored has all the cards, or you took them out of this machine and keeping all those? No, I had a few. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there were any in this one when I got it. I can give you a couple. So what you're saying is I can reproduce good sayings on the cards, so every person that gets oh, in yeah. there is a yeah, you, No, yeah, you don't want to put any negative. Oh, yeah. No, there no, no. They want, they want Man, positive. They want, so positively, positively, I'm, 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 feeling like, positively. I'm feeling like 750. I'm feeling like 1,000. I know. I know. I mean, if this thing's restored, what's it worth? A uh, friend of mine had one, and he yeah. did it, and he sold it for 15,000. Wow, wow. Holy cow. All new glass, yeah, all new everything. Yeah, all, all repainted. It's not like you're gonna see one every day. No, I haven't, you know, I haven't seen one. Thousand bucks. I'll Thousand bucks. I'll do it. Alrighty. All right. I, I think you'll like it. it. There's not too many people out there that don't like like robot space. And the fact that it's astrology, you wanna put your penny in it. All I gotta do is get the lights working in it. And I'm not saying it's working, but if you want to try and put your penny in it, I'll collect your money. <laughs> It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.